Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a standard electrical outlet. But before we get started, I have to make sure to let you know I am not an electrician. So make sure you are comfortable and qualified before you start any electrical projects. And always, always, always before you work on any electricity, make sure the power is off and double test with the tester that there is no power running to the section you think you are working on. If you're working with power that was already in place and just changing your outlet, you may not have to do this step. But if you're starting with new wiring, you're gonna have a sheathed piece of Romex or wire. So what I do is I take a, a, a utility knife, always cutting away from myself because I have seen people hurt themselves bad with these. You're gonna cut down the middle to open it up. So don't cut on a finished surface. So then you can peel this back. Then you're gonna peel this off because this is your ground wire. I then just cut this out of my way because we're done with this. This is just a sheathing and we have no need for that. Okay, so now if you're working just on a standard outlet, now if you're working with something fancier, you may have more wires than this. But for a standard outlet, you're going to have a black wire, which is your hot. You're gonna have a white wire, which is your neutral. And you're gonna have a copper wire, which is your ground. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a little bit off. Now this is an electrical, this is a stripper. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. This has different sizes based on the gauge of the wire you're working with. And it's going to allow you to take the sheathing off the outside because there's wire in there. And this is just the guide to show you which is which. So you, you know, have a kind of idea which wire is going where. Don't cut too small because you don't wanna damage the wire beneath. It'd be better to start with a bigger, cut and not get it all the way off and then realize you need to go a little bit smaller. So if you're like, oh, that's not really getting it all the way off, then just go one up and do that. Because if you damage and, and you cut your wire, then you're gonna have to trim back so that you don't have a wire that's weak and could, could break off on you. So I wanna get just a little bit of that off. And so now I have a little exposed at the end of my black, a little exposed at the end of my white, and then of course there's no sheathing on your ground wire. And so then you have your electrical outlet. Green is always your ground. So your copper is gonna go to the green. See how on this side, this is silver. And on this side, this is brass. And if it's a newer outlet, if, an older, if it's an older outlet, it won't be different, but a newer outlet, the silver, the neutral side, this is usually gonna be a bigger opening. And then the hot, the black brass side, that's gonna be smaller. So silver always goes to white, silver and white, silver and white. Brass always goes to your hot, which in my case is black, but it could be red depending on the type of wire you're using. So silver, white, black brass. So now what I am going to do is I am going to just take my wire and sometimes it's nice to have a set of these little tiny needle nose pliers, but you can do it with this too. And you're just gonna grab the tip of it and give it a little curl. And then you're gonna go to your, because this is my white, your white is gonna go on your silver side, like I said. And so you're gonna hook your little hook around that. And I like to clamp it down nice and tight because you want these secure. If you don't have them secure, electricity can jump and that's when you get arcing and a risk of fire. So on my silver side, I have attached nice and tight and snug my white wire. Now at this time, because we're on this side, we could go ahead and we could do our copper, which is our ground. Okay, now we're gonna go to our other side. So now we have our top and our top. If you only have one wire coming in, this is the end of your line, don't do anything with the bottom one. So I am going to go ahead and take my black wire and So I want to make sure, just take a close look, make sure that's really nice and tight, really nice and tight, really nice and tight. Again, white to silver, black to brass, copper to ground or green. And there you go, my wire, my outlet is wired. Now, if you had two sets of wires where you had one outlet coming in, you're getting your power from the other one and going on to the next one, that's when you would use this bottom side and your next wire going off the next direction feeding the other outlet, you would go ahead and connect their white to that one and then their black to this brass side. And then you would also use um, a nut, a wiring nut to tie in your two greens together and then tie into this. And so it's not that much more complicated, just make sure that the ones coming in are on one level and the ones going out are on one level. You always go white to silver, black to brass. There you go, you just wired an electrical outlet.